the other side of Elephant Rock here, the more bare bones approach, see how rocky it is. Even a rock climber would have problems with that because of the, the texture. It's not, it's not smooth. I'm sorry? Yeah, all chips. Well, the last time I was up here was two years ago on this trail and when we were hiking with my family up here. They're much younger than me. They took, they managed to make it up to the top. Let me get in the shade here for a second. They managed to make it up to the top, but they went from the other side. We tried this approach, but it, just, it was just too steep and too difficult. I tried, I got halfway up there, and I said, my hips and my knees were giving out. But it's just a beautiful view from the top. It's amazing. Let me get a, pull up a log over here. Looks like they had a little lightning storm here a few years back with all the dead trees, the burnt out trees. Uh, amazing. I'm going to take a little quick break here. I, 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 I stay there. Okay, there. Okay. Uh, that's the way we went, Shelly, up that approach here. See where, see where the trees are up against the, the stone? We tried to climb it from that angle. Right there, along here. But I got halfway up, I said, I just can't do it. It's just killing me. I went about. Uh huh. And then I got to that. I says I just can't do it. Mine was a mixture of exhaustion, and and basically, my knees and hips were just giving out on me. I says. My body was exhausted. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, I'm not good for that anymore. When I was 20s and 30s, I could definitely do it. No problem. But yeah, that was back in the day. In the 20s and 30s and 40s. We're all doing it and saying how great it was. And I got married and said, I got to do this. Uh -huh, that's when you'd want to do it. You get it done, you know. I, I did it now my age. So, wow. I think this is about as far as I'm going to come right here. Well, you can get around it, but it's just... Basically, it's just rebuilding. Yeah, these are all basically a pygmy forest right now until they, until they all take hold. They all, I think they just planted these here. I wonder if these were naturally came back from the pine cones, I mean, from the, you know, from the cones. You think these were just naturally dropped and the, re, the forest recuperated? They're pretty thick. You think this is naturally planted? It might be, you know? I don't know. Might very well be. Maybe some of each. Forest forest management here. That's cool that it did it rebounded though. Cool. Well, they had to do it to Cherry Lake. They do it to a lot of places that all burnt in the last couple of years. Uh huh. Amazing. Now there's not a view that's not. There's not a few that's not photogenic here. Everything's photogenic. There's not a bad shot here. We'll make our way back to the truck and head up to Alpine Lake. This has been nice. I like first to walk down the little bike trail I started to go down, or huh. non-bike trail. <laughs> and when I started to go down, you said, don't too far. Well, I did because I think it was because knowing that we have to hike here and then hike back and then, you know, if we go to Lake Alpine, we got to save some, if we go to a little hike there, uh, I don't want to burn myself out before I go there. It's already as cold as a fire. Yeah, it was, if we get there by six o'clock, we could do an hour hike and, and start coming back. You know, we can get in an hour hike just at one, one side of the lake. It's just a beautiful lake. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but it's worth the, it's worth the drive up there. It's about a half an hour drive from here. It's worth it. Believe me. Let me jump ahead a little bit, shall we? So, 
So anyway, this is the end of part six of, a, this, of the Elephant Rock hike. I wanted to get this side of the trail to show the other approach to this beautiful mountain in the midst of uh, the of the Union and Utica Lake Reservoir area. People flock to it during the summertime for camping and, and kayaking and stuff. I didn't bring my kayak up here yet this summer, but there's always next month. I could always come up here and do that next month. But anyway, thanks for joining us here on the uh, on the trail. We're out. Happy Taco Tuesday. <laughs>